Hi, you guys, it's Tara Greenway, founder of Beyond Your Belief, and this is for you especially if you meditate or if you have tried meditating and you just feel like it's really hard or like you're really bad at it because I used to be right there with you. I thought meditating was not just hard, but like impossible. And that's because I was originally taught years ago that meditation was about clearing your mind of thoughts. And I felt like that was impossible and I think I was right. I, I don't think you can do that, but it is very possible and very doable to notice the thoughts that you're having and then just come back to uh, whatever focus your focus is, like your breath, I like to do the crown of my head, whatever it is. So what I am, the tip I'm going to give you today is to not just notice, because everybody says that, right? Well, notice your thoughts and then let them go. Not just notice your thoughts, but notice the kind of crazy that your thoughts keep going to. The specific kind of crazy that you do in your meditation. Why? Because that specific kind of crazy thinking that you do in your meditation will be the kind of not great thinking that you do in your real life. Not great thinking, not great feeling, not that high vibration that you want, but that low vibration. And we all have certain tendencies that we go to. So what you're going to do is notice the thoughts and then notice what kind of ridiculous thought patterns they are and then give that thought pattern a character with a name and characteristics and everything. And then you're going to be like, oh, hi whoever, you know, I know you and I remember you, but we're just not going to talk right now. See you later. And then you go back to your focus. It's going to make more sense when I give you the examples. I'm going to tell you the four characters that are in my mind when I meditate and come to find out basically they're there all the time. And it has given me so much more just emotional balance or equilibrium to be able to recognize them and go, oh, hey, there you are. And not to like get mad at myself or reject myself or those those thought patterns, but just to recognize them and go, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I do that a lot, but not right now. And then I get to return to who I really want to be, which is more like joyful and just wise. So one thought pattern that I go into a lot, and you can see if you do this too, I call her um, Mrs. Pickwick. Mrs. Pickwick is very, very critical. She is just really, really um, wants everything to be just right all the time. She's like your, your worst sixth grade teacher that was constantly correcting your grammar or something. And I know why she's in there, but we're not going to go into all that right now. But when I start getting to that like critical, and it's usually self-critical, almost always self-critical, sometimes directed toward other people, but usually self. And I go, oh, Mrs. Pickwick, yes, you are super good at analyzing and criticizing. Hi, but I don't want to do that right now, so I'll see you later. And then I return to my focus, which I like to use the crown chakra as my focus instead of breathing. But a lot of people use breathing in and out, and that works too. So that's one character, Mrs. Pickwick. Another character in my head is Gordy. Now, Gordy is a grown-up, but he really seems like a child because he is so scared all the time. So Gordy really made a lot of appearances in the spring of 2020 when COVID first started and like we were all scared and didn't know what was going to happen. And Gordy kept going, oh, I'm scared about this now. And I would go, oh, Gordy, hi, honey. Yeah, it's going to be okay. I can't talk to you right now. I'll talk to you later. Thanks for alerting me, though, that you're scared. And then I'm going to go back to my phone. Okay, so that's two characters. Third character in my head, and you can see who's in your head, is um, Professor Nimbus. Now, Professor Nimbus is the most subtle and trickiest one because he can actually be extremely useful. Professor Nimbus is very intelligent and very good at solving problems. So that can be really useful. Like sometimes I do want to solve problems, but not all the time, especially because I tend to try to solve problems that are not my own. There are other people's and they get annoyed when I solve their problems for them. 
they need to solve their own problems. And even if I'm solving my own problems, that's not what I want to be doing 24 hours a day. There needs to be other stuff going on. So I go, oh, Professor Nimbus, yes, you are super good at problem solving. Thank you. But we're just not doing that right now. Right now, we're just focusing on my crown chakra. Thanks. Okay, so that's three characters. Last character I actually love, and her name is Sage Tara. And she has two main characteristics. One is she's really wise. And the other is she thinks things are really funny. She has a great sense of humor about things that I normally do not think are funny at all. And so when Sage Tara comes, I'm like, oh, hi, yes. Thank you for that wise and amused perspective. And I let her stay around. So this has helped me so much to give my crazy making thought patterns and emotional patterns names, accept them, say hi to them, and then release them. And I hope that that helps you too in your meditation practice and in your life. And so as always, for more stuff like this, beyondyourbelief.com, you can follow me on social media at Tara underscore Greenway. Thank you. Good luck. Have fun meditating.